Oh, hello folks, we're back again, and this time we're out in the daylight. We've got Charlie the dog, and we've come down to Lelant, near Carbis Bay, and we're going to go and have a quick look at something. I uh, haven't really got a lot of time today, folks, so uh, we're going to do the best we can, but... Now, I don't think I've ever walked down this particular bit of coast path, but it took a bit of finding in the car, and yeah, I said car, folks, because uh, I've got Charlie today, and can't really take Charlie on the bike, so car is the way today. But uh, wow, uh, if you saw that cheeky squirrel there, he's got a whopping great acorn in his mouth. You didn't see it either, Charlie, did you? Is there more up there? Yeah, it might be. Wow, so uh, got this uh, big church, which you'll have a look at quickly in a minute. And wow, Commonwealth War Graves. That's interesting. We might uh, we might have a look briefly. Wonder where they are. You can normally see them from quite a distance. I'm not sure. Let's, uh, no, nah, we're not going to spend too much time in there. We need to get Charlie like, exercised. So, so, we've got this whopping great church. This is the church at Lelant. But, uh, <coughs> uh, something of, uh, I'm going to go look at something I've seen ages ago folks and never been able to get to until now hopefully so uh yeah we'll kind of following on to uh what we were doing before now saw the channel's gone a bit of a funny direction really and uh well that's the golf club yep so yeah the channel's gone in a bit of a a tangent we were uh, we've been looking at quite a lot of uh, military history and uh, both from sort of like World War one to present day and we've kind of deviated off of it a bit but uh, we're gonna go and hopefully have a look at something interesting now and that's the golf course in there. there's a golf course down here and we've got Charlie the dog Not sure what's uh, down here roughly, but got Hale Tower just across there. Okay. Got some golfers. Wow. fairly busy here this morning, quite a lot of people out and wow something else interesting to look at and first thing is this pillbox folks obviously uh, we'll go up and have a look at it but here we go now I've only ever seen this from over there folks and jolly come in and uh wow you're not gonna see much there folks but well if we can stay up here there we go and we can't actually get in this one which is a bit of a pain but uh been boarded up but we've got the uh traditional hexagonal pillbox and it's in quite good condition inside there's not much graffiti or anything and uh, just gonna have a careful walk around it if we can I'm not sure how far we can get or maybe how far safe it is but Charlie come on this way Wow so uh, 
can get have a look at the, another part of it there full of junk We're right next to a golf course fake, so this is a bit of an unusual one. Got the golf course there, and uh, Charlie spraining up the bit. So it's a shame we can't get in, and obviously, this pillbox has been uh, looks like it's been undermined slightly by the dunes. There's been a bit of a uh, space under there so uh just sitting on a raft of concrete and you can see the world war ii concrete you've got the typical kind of like what they call mundic concrete beach sand and stuff used in the as aggregate which is one of the reasons why houses and other structures made out of this sort of concrete with the beach sand material it becomes uh very unstable and it crumbles obviously uh anything anyone's heard of the uh, term mundic with any kind of houses then uh usually it's something that that devon and cornwall buildings that were built in a certain time they usually kind of suffer from and i think it's from 1954 to something else well wow, now that's interesting folks look at this so rather interesting here we've got uh, a railway line wow so now I, I can't believe I've I've not actually been down this way before so uh, this is the St Ives branch line and uh, we're just literally looking at this little bridge here and imagine it makes quite a din when the train's going over it anyway and uh, I'm surprised you can actually get this close to the track folks but uh, very interesting anyway right so I've just heard a diesel train horn folks so we're gonna get up here a minute I've seen the train come and go in the last uh, 25 minutes or so. Just to think it's a bit special this, we're, we're about ooh, three feet away from the track, folks. We still got, here we go. The train is coming. Two car DMU set. Now this is quite interesting because we've got this uh, bridge. So we've got the. Uh, wow, now that is intriguing. If you look at the uh, structure of this bridge, folks, and you think a couple of hundred tons of train goes over this. Wow. That's uh, rather interesting. And we've got the bridge location there. Some airsoft sticker on it. It's always the way. There we go. So, I'm not quite sure 
where this leads. Oh, it does. It goes down onto the beach, folks. I think that's where we'll head to let Charlie have a bit of a some recreation time. So back in the mo. All right then, folks. We've just missed the train. So uh, train gone over the bridge, and we're on this nice bit of uh, beach here with Mr. Bass. This is Hale Estuary, and. Uh, No idea if you're able to hear me because it is a bit windy, but uh, Mr. Boss is enjoying himself. Charlie Boss, the TWEX hound. So uh, yeah, no, it's uh, it's good to get about other places. You know, obviously uh, not really done too much exploring down here to be honest. Yeah, so you uh Yeah we've got Hale Estuary Tidal You can see it's a very strong current folks The tide is obviously going out you can just see the water being funneled down the estuary and uh it's good to know I think I'd rather be here when the tide's going out but uh, we're going to have a look around and uh, see what else we can come up with right then folks so uh, I think we're coming up to almost the limit of how far we can go before we get wet feet I don't think I'm going to go much further to be honest looking quite sort of uh, yeah wet here oh Charlie's found a bit of water yeah so uh, quite an alternative sort of uh, place really and uh, I think we're going to head back now come on buddy let's go uh, he's, got his, he's got his sand head on there so uh, yeah, so it's nice to come down to this bit of beach and explore it. I don't think I've personally been here before, or if I have, I can't remember it. But, uh, look at that, there's virgin sand. Virgin sand. Nobody walked on it. Right, let's get going. So here we go then, folks. Fourth kidney. Fourth kidney sand. So uh, obviously tidal cut off strong currents and beware of soft sands and falling rocks. Powered boats do not climb cliffs. Wow, sounds a bit risky folks, but no, it's very nice anyway. So uh, me and Charlie, we're just uh, patrolling the shoreline and we're gonna go back up these steep steps under the railway bridge. Whoa, they are steep folks. There we go. And hail estuary. Right, so if you can see it from this side, we've got the uh <coughs> coming up to it now. We've got the railway bridge. path goes up that way but when I was up there I saw something rather interesting so I think I'm going to go that way and uh, we're going to check it out 